President Bola Tinubu has directed the management of the Nigerian Education Loan Fund, that is NEL Fund, to expand the focus area by extending interest-free loans to Nigerian students interested in skill development programs. The President issued the directive at the State House on Monday after briefing from Mr. Akitude Sawyer, uh, Executive Secretary of NEL Fund on the build-up to the launch of the program later in the month. The president said it is important for the scheme to accommodate those who may not want to pursue university education, noting that skills acquisition is, an import, is as important as obtaining undergraduate and graduate academic qualifications. Addressing State House correspondent after briefing President Bola Metunumbu on the impending launch of the scheme, the Executive Secretary of the Student Loan Board, Akitude Sawyer, alongside Chairman of FIRS, Zach Adedeji, said that a specified portal has been dedicated to the scheme to eliminate human intrusion. It's a great opportunity to help solve an age old problem uh, that has been on in this uh, dear nation of ours for quite some time. Um, there are many, many people with uh, great capacity um, and with the desire to improve their education. Uh, and usually the place where that falls down is when they get into the tertiary space. At that point, they really have a number of options uh, either to go uh, into the world of wor work with um, qualifications that are not necessarily optimal for them or to find ways of funding um, that tertiary uh, space. Now, when I say tertiary, some of it is academic, so uh, university education is generally regarded as academic, but this program seeks to provide opportunities for Nigerian students who want to go into onto the academic side and get a university degree, or perhaps want to go into the, onto the technical side and go and get and acquire some vocational skills and some vocational qualifications, which is always needed in society, and uh, also in the teacher training space, because you know without teachers. Um, really none of us uh, are going very far. We have to learn from others and we have to have those who teach us formally. So this is a great opportunity for that applicant and they are the ones at the, at the center of all of this. This act, uh, effectively the intention behind it is to ensure that the, um, the reason for not being able to go on and further your education at a tertiary, tertiary level is not for the lack of finance. This act, this law seems, seeks to bridge the gap between desire to study and capacity to go further. Um, it seeks, seeks to bridge that gap if the gap is one that is created by uh, lack of finance, lack of funding. Uh, this intervention uh, will affect the lives of many, many uh, Nigerian youth because that's usually the bracket that want to further their education. It will impact the lives of many, many Nigerian families because the onus to pay for education tends to fall on parents or on families. Well, this act is going to enable us to intervene and support families, particularly those at the needy end. Uh, this act will affect the way society in itself operates and functions. And to give you a very small example, some people have very tight choices between whether they go on to study further and get the opportunity to get a white collar job, for example, or they go into a blue collar uh, environment where they have to work with their bodies and, and their hands, um, which, you know, if you enjoy doing that, it's great. Some people do, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Society needs it, but Yeah, so there you have it, a fund for people that don't want to do school or like, uh, what's it called now? 
uh, vocational. Yeah, vocational. Yeah, when we want to go into vocation and all of those kind of things. I think it's a good step in the right direction. It's At good, least, yeah, uh, how will I put it now? Putting, uh, putting others into consideration mm. because it's not everybody that will go through the four walls of a university. Yeah, we need to shift focus a, a bit, you know, okay. just leave that part of uh, vocational training and yeah every, everybody must not yes. get a degree as exactly, you said exactly. a skill acquisition is very very, very important, important. Because even if you go through the four walls of your school i think mm. you should have a skill yeah, that you could should. actually probably if, if you take a look at, at developed countries most of all these developed countries china and all of those this the, the people the number of people that have various skills are so much that they don't really depend on you know the normal formal training that mm -hmm. a lot of us know about mm -hmm. so it's, it's very important i think it's good i think it's good all right that's about it with the front burner